While it is true a balloon must fly where the winds blow, the degree of control a skillful pilot can command is often greatly underestimated. On October 13th, a few of these experienced aeronauts will undertake what is considered one of the most challenging and beautiful flights imaginable. Cellular One's Flight for the Gold over the San Francisco Bay. Will Luden, president of Cellular One. Cellular One is involved in the second annual uh, balloon flight for the gold uh, because we feel a strong affinity with the spirit and challenge that the balloonists have as they fly across the bay and a strong affinity uh, with our third partner in this and that is the U.S. Olympic team. Usually balloon flights are made in areas of open country allowing unlimited freedom of movement as well as consistent weather conditions. The San Francisco Bay has none of these features. Instead, it is a collection of unique possibilities for flying and landing that call for a higher degree of ability and awareness. In the words of pilot Brent Stockwell. The weather, the airspace, and the terrain are very complicated. I've done it 13 times now, and it's still the most beautiful flight I've ever made. Balloons usually land in large open spaces, in keeping with a more tranquil pace of hot air flight. In the flight for the gold, we will see a pursuit of excellence similar to the Olympic effort. It was this similarity that makes the event a logical choice to gear toward fundraising. Lou Spadia of the California Olympic Committee. Uh, the balloon races is uh, being primarily held for the support of funds uh, for the Olympic Games. Our goal here in Northern California is well over a million dollars. Uh, we have a long way to go and we're hopeful that this event will help us reach our goal. As seen in many competitive situations, the ability to accurately pilot the balloon down to the inch is always within reach. Flying and landing in the Central Bay Area is precision flying at its finest.